welcome to this special edition of Top Tech News. Apple today announced a slew of new products including new Apple Watches and iPads. It also announced a host of services including one around fitness and the much-rumored subscription bundle which it's calling as Apple One. So grab a coffee, sit back and enjoy as we take you through the top highlights from today's Apple event. First up, Apple launched the Apple Watch Series 6 with the ability to measure blood oxygen levels. Blood oxygen level is a key indicator of your overall wellness. It can help you understand how well your body is absorbing oxygen and the amount of oxygen delivered to your body. Apple claims that the new sensor and app in Apple Watch Series 6 will allow you to take on-demand readings of your blood oxygen as well as background readings, day and night. The new blood oxygen sensor is made up of four LED clusters and four photodiodes. Apple has incorporated this into the completely redesigned back crystal, where this new sensor works in concert with the blood oxygen app to determine your blood oxygen level. So how does this fancy tech work? Was per Apple, green, red, and infrared LEDs shine light onto the blood vessels in your wrist, and photodiodes measure the amount of light reflected back. Advanced algorithms then calculate the color of your blood, which indicates the amount of oxygen present. Pretty neat trick, right? Apart from the blood oxygen level tech, it also features the following. Like its predecessor, it can generate an ECG similar to a single lead electrocardiogram. You would need the ECG app for this. Electrodes built into the digital crown and the back crystal work together with the ECG app to read your heart's electrical signals. To use this, simply touch the digital crown to generate an ECG waveform in just 30 seconds. The ECG app can indicate whether your heart rhythm shows signs of atrial fibrillation, a serious form of irregular heart rhythm, or sinus rhythm, which means your heart is beating in a normal pattern. It comes with the new sleep app. This would help you establish a regular bedtime routine and keep track of your sleep trends every night. The always-on display is said to be 2.5 times brighter than the one on the Series 5, so it's easier to read when your arm is on a desk or when outdoors. It's also now possible to access notifications, control center, change watch faces, or tap on complications without fully waking the screen. Another new sensor is the always-on altimeter, which provides real-time elevation information. Apple says it is accurate down to a foot of measurement. The Series 6 would be available in gray, silver, gold, or blue aluminum finishes, or a new product, RED, version that has a striking red finish on it. The stainless steel model is available in either graphite or yellow gold. The top-end edition model is available in natural or black titanium, but no ceramic options this year. Apple says the aluminium models are made of 100% recycled aluminium, much like the newer MacBook Pro models. Apple also announced a new strap called the Solo Loop. It's an innovative new seamless band without a clasp or buckle in sight. It will be available in two materials and nine custom sizes, tailored to the size of your wrist. Solo Loop is crafted from a soft, stretchable silicone rubber and is ultra-comfortable, lightweight, and surprisingly easy to slip on and off. There is also a braided Solo Loop in which silicone threads are interwoven with over 16,000 recycled polyester yarn filaments to create a band that's textured and stretchable. And it is beautiful. The Series 6 will run Watch OS 7. The software update, available for all models dating back to the Series 3, adds native sleep tracking support, but the Series 6 will take that feature even further thanks to dedicated sensors. Other major updates coming in Watch OS 7 include a rebranded fitness app with new workouts, a hand washing feature tailored for the ongoing COVID 19 pandemic, richer complications, and the ability to share watch faces with others. In addition, Apple is debuting a new feature called Family Setup, which allows parents to set up managed Apple Watches for their kids who don't have iPhones of their own. Parents will be able to manage who the child can message or call from the watch, set up location alerts, and do not disturb modes for school time, and a new watch face will inform teachers that the watch is in DND mode from a glance. Family Setup requires a cellular Apple Watch model and will be available through a handful of carriers at launch. This feature can pose a serious challenge to the Android ecosystem because a lot of people who use Android have always wanted an Apple Watch. And now if anyone in their family has an iPhone they can switch over to the Apple Watch which would end up eating market share from the Android Wear. So definitely something to watch out for. Apple is also debuting a new service for the Apple Watch called Fitness Plus, a subscription service for virtual workouts and improved fitness tracking features. It is what Apple claims the world's most knowledgeable trainers. Your workout metrics will be transported to your iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV in real time to keep you motivated and engaged. According to Apple, it would be extremely simple to start off. Choose the workout type you want. Select a duration as short as 5 minutes or as long as 45 minutes. Pick your favorite trainer and type of music that's perfectly tailored for the routine. 
and that's it. You are off and running. It costs $9.99 per month or $79.99 per year and you'll get 3 months free with the purchase of a new Apple Watch. Fitness Plus can also be purchased in a bundle with Apple's other subscription services, such as Apple Music, News Plus, and TV Plus. At launch, Fitness Plus will be available in Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It seems to have caught the market unawares as was reflected in a drop in Peloton share price once the announcement was made. The Apple Watch Series 6 will be available starting at $399 for a 40mm model, the same price as the outgoing Series 5. Cellular models start at $499. The Series 6 is available to order starting today, September 15th, and will start shipping on Friday, September 18th. However, the biggest surprise, while not entirely unexpected though, was when Lisa Jackson, Apple's VP for Environment Policy and Social Initiatives announced that as part of its efforts to reduce its carbon footprint, it will not be including a USB power adapter in the box with the Series 6 watch, just the charging cable. Wow! That was a sneaky move to bundle this under environment friendliness. Next stop, the new iPhones in the upcoming event in October when Apple is likely to ditch the charger as well. That's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.